Hi, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for You. And today we're going to be talking about limiting beliefs and self-doubt. So I don't know about you, but limiting beliefs is one of the biggest causes of stress. And um, when we are going through limiting beliefs, uh, what ends up happening is if we allow So essentially what limiting beliefs is, is that pesky little voice that we hear in our minds that says, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not capable of something. And you and I both know we're very capable of a lot. So we're going to work on trying to move past all of that. So here's an example though of what you might be seeing or might be facing. I don't know about yourself, but with me, before I come on here, I'm terrified of presentations. I always think that when I'm coming to do a Facebook Live, people are not going to want to watch. They're not going to care. I'm not going to make any difference. But that's what I'm here for, is to help just one person and to do it for free because that's the way to do it. But I realize now that it's okay. However, every single time before I get on, I always deal with these limiting beliefs. And if I'm dealing with it as an adult, and if you might be dealing with it as an adult, and we have the tools to manage it, imagine our children dealing with it, and they don't have those tools. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how do we help our children move past our, their limiting beliefs so that they can actually pursue what they want to. Now here is something that I hear a lot. Get rid of those limiting beliefs. <laughs> as if we can actually do that. We can't. There's absolutely no way to get rid of your limiting beliefs. But what you can do is manage it. And here is how. The first thing I want you to do is notice. Notice all of the negative things that first surround us. And when I talk about negative t things, I'm talking about where do you see negativity? For example, the television or the radio, right? We listen to the news or we watch the news. And how often do you hear on the news about that awesome firefighter that saved that little kitten? <laughs> it doesn't make for exciting news. So you hear about things like COVID-19, which is important, or you hear about that murder, or somebody broke into someone's home, you know, those kinds of things. And it's important to know, but do we really need to watch a lot of it? I've started to cut back on my, um, on my news watching or listening to it because I listen to what I need to and then I'm done. But I do watch that awesome drama, like I enjoy soap operas, for example, <laughs> I know, guilty pleasure, because I need a little bit of drama in my life. Or maybe you watch reality television, or my biggest guilty pleasure is that um, is watching crim crime shows or ones that um, where you don't know who's going to yeah, who's going to commit that murder? I mean, I just recently watched it and I had to call a friend because I was like, "What is this? I had no idea who committed that murder at the end." I was like, "I know, I always know, but I couldn't." And I had to look for more like that. Can you imagine? That's what I was surrounding myself with. And so, this is not going to get rid of your limiting beliefs, but it's going to help you move past some of it by taming down some of that negative thought, okay? And the next thing you're going to do if we know that we can't get rid of limiting beliefs, is you're going to take that awesome piece of paper. <laughs> Here's your actionable steps. You're going to take that piece of paper and you're going to write down all of your limiting beliefs that are right now going through your mind. So you might want to watch this video again after and then go through these steps because this is where we get into the actionable steps. Write down every single thing that's bothering you. And then you're going to take your watch. I can't remember where I put my phone, but you're going to take your phone or whatever timer, alarm clock, and you're going to set it for 24 hours from now. So the time right now is 538. So tomorrow at 538, you're going to come back and you're going to take a look at this limiting belief and move on to step number two. But you only get 24 hours because if I give you five days, you're going to sit there and wallow in self-pity and, and let that limiting belief take over your life. So you get 24 hours because you need to sit with it and know that it's real. 
then tomorrow you're going to come back and you're going to take that same piece of paper somewhere at the bottom you're going to write down or on the next piece of page, page you're going to write down all of your strengths so everything that you enjoy doing everything that you think you're good at it you don't have to be excellent at it but things that you actually feel like you want to do so i i'm not great at singing but i like it so I'm, i could write that down i oh my gosh i'm horrible at dancing but i will dance and i like it so i might write that down as a strength so write down your strengths i would recommend 10 strengths for an adult maybe depending on the age limit four to eight if you've got you know, young four to actually six if you've got younger children, and perhaps um, six to ten if you've got um, high school kids. Okay, but ten should be the limit. You don't want to keep on going forever and ever because I know you're great at things, but you want to now focus. So pick ten, write down ten, then move on to the next section, which is writing down ten things that you are grateful for, and you've got to be grateful for something, my friend. You might be grateful for you know chocolate you might be grateful for that awesome flower that you saw when you walked by um down across the street you might be awesome for because you've got you know um, you've got the ability to get some uh, vitamins in your life right food i'm not um <laughs> i'm not endorsing any of these things i just happen to have this on hand so i wanted to use that as an example but write down what you're grateful for after that, the very next thing you're going to do is you're going to take those two lists, the strengths and the gratitude list. You're going to look at what you have in common and you're going to take that, pick one of those things that you have in common and you're going to take immediate action right away. You're not going to wait till tomorrow. You're not going to wait till the day after, but right away, you're going to take action on one of these things. And the reason for this is because if you have the limiting beliefs, that's there in your mind, right? That's why I'm not focusing on the negativity. We're focusing on the positive aspects because even though that negative thing is right there, you're gonna move it to the back of your mind by focusing on the positivity and you take action and you're already moving on a positive path. That limiting belief no longer has control over it because a lot of us, we use these ideas of limiting belief, the concept of it as an excuse. And yes, I said excuse, like I've talked about with procrastination, to not do something. We say, oh, like a child might say, well, I'm in a classroom and all of these children can write a paragraph or an essay, really well written essays. And here I am struggling to write a sentence. And so they may say, well, I can't write a sentence. So I'm not gonna try that paragraph. But over time, they are still struggling with that sentence. Say, not just gonna say, oh, I can't write that paragraph. It's now I can't write, um, stories or I can't write a comic book or all, any of these fun things even if they want to it starts to become part of who they are and we don't want that so if you can't write a sentence well can you write a few set few words together so do a few things together that's what we're looking for okay so I want you to take these these few steps and one of the things that I'm going to do for you because I know that a lot of people watch these shows but they don't actually take action some people might so here is how we're going to do this from Monday <laughs> to Friday. I'm going to come here at 5:30 PM and it's going to be quick videos. We're going to take action on every single day on one of these things. And we're going to move you forward. We're going to start big like we are today. And then the week after we're going to actually go and narrow down on what it is that you want to do that, it's that your limiting belief is telling you you can't. And we're going to actually start taking action on it. So we're going to start big and we're going to move small. So this, this um, particular episode is about big, right? This week's big, and then we're going to move small. So I'm going to upload a planner that you're going to work on. I'm going to upload it tomorrow. Well, I'm going to do it tonight because I need to finish working on it. And I'm going to give it to you. You'll see it tomorrow. You have the data to print it out, and you can work on it on your own because it's, self, it's self-explanatory. But I will be here, and we're going to work on each step every single day. If you've got kids, bring them along, print out a planner for them, and we're going to work on it together because I really want you to take action on this. And I really want your children to also do this. So we're going to do it together. How exciting. <laughs> now, one of the other things I want to talk about is um, 
there's a lot of um, there are a lot of communities for primary kids and for primary teachers and parents, but not for intermediate. And I'm wanting to start something where we can um, bridge the gap between social emotional learning and literacy development, kind of like what we're doing here, but in a more fun, authentic way. And you'll get all of the lesson plans and you'll get all of the um, items. Everything's going to be ready for you. And we're going to talk about how to um, how to all um, adapt it for your children and how to take care of yourself. So if you're interested in becoming a founding member of it, please send me a private message and I cannot wait to hear from you. In the meantime, please take action. Remember, we'll be here every day next week, just for short bursts, maybe two to three minutes, and we're gonna take action, my friend. So in the meantime, remember to take, take care of yourself and um, remember to create, experience, and teach from the heart. Thank you for joining me. Take care, bye.